text-to-speech sounds, and slideshows. Being able to hear your flashcards can be very useful when learning. A couple options are one, to record your own voice from within the app, and two, import your own custom sound files. A third option available is to add text-to-speech sounds. I'll be going over this last option in this video. Text-to-speech, or TTS, will convert your text into synthesized speech. While the speech can occasionally sound awkward, it's a very convenient method to hear your flashcards. Let's look at my deck of Spanish flashcards. To add text to speech, from the study screen, tap the gear icon at the top right to get to deck options, then tap sound, text to speech. The top section is where you select a voice for each side. A voice represents a language and a style, for example, male or female. At the bottom in the sample text section, we can be reminded that text 1 is English and text 2 is Spanish for this deck. Tap voice 1 to set a voice for our English text. Next, you select a TTS engine. The first option will be either Siri or Android, depending on if you are using iOS or Android. These TTS systems are built into your device and is what I recommend you try first. I'll tap Siri, then English US. Here I have different English voices to choose from. Tap to hear a sample and select one. Hello, this is a test. Hello, this is a test. Go back a couple screens and you'll see that Siri, English, Samantha is the current voice for text one. I'll go back and select the Spanish voice for text 2. Hola, esto es una prueba. As you can see, the download sound button is gray and cannot be pressed. For Siri or Android voices, you do not need to download any sound files. Let's return to the study screen and listen. Blue. Azul. I quickly want to show you how to start a slideshow where you can now listen to your flashcards hands-free. In the bottom left of the study screen is a B icon. Tap to enter browse mode. The B icon changes to a play button. Tap this play button to start a slideshow. The problem is we are not hearing any sound. Double tap the sound play button to toggle sound autoplay on or off. Now when we change sides, the sound will autoplay. Blue. I'll start another slideshow. Azul. Busy. Ocupado. I paused it. To exit browse mode and return to the normal study mode, where you answer correct or wrong, tap the bottom center button, then exit browse mode. Blue. During my slideshow, the app stayed on each side for two seconds before continuing. You can change this and other slideshow settings at Deck Options, Timers, Slideshow. Back to TTS. Tap Sound, Text to Speech. Let's say we aren't too happy with Siri's Spanish voice and want to try out another option. Tap Voice 2 and notice we have an option for Amazon Poly. Amazon Voices will require you to download MP3 files. Tap Amazon Poly, Spanish, and select a voice. Hola, esto es una prueba. Return to the main TTS screen. After selecting the Amazon voice, you see that download sound is no longer gray, as we have sounds to download. Tap download sound, and MP3 files for all cards will be created and downloaded. One disadvantage of using Amazon Poly is that if you later add new cards, you'll need to come back here to download the missing sound files. Also, if you change the voice or speed, or if you change the text on an existing card, the sound files will still speak the old sound, requiring you to delete the existing TTS files and recreate them. Before we return to the study screen, let's go back to the sound menu and notice a few options. You can have the app repeat the sound multiple times with the play count option, and can add a delay between repeats 
using repeat delay. Let's return to the study screen and listen. Blue. Azul. Azul. Busy. Ocupado. Ocupado. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.